Hi guys, it's JD and today I thought I'd bring you a lip swatch video which has been long cut long time coming. Get your word that Jade, it's just not happening today. Um if you would have saw on my last video I did a super drug haul, um which was I well, didn't buy lots but it was still like a good haul and most of it was Nike Academy because I was just trying out some cheap makeup. And I come across on Superdrug website the Makeup Academy matte lipsticks for a pound. And I thought, well, I want to try them to see if they're worth a pound. But then again, in comparison, I have wore them. I did put it on and I have tried them, at one of them. And they are quite drying on your lips in comparison to like a MAC lipstick. But then again, this is £15.50, so if you can sort of get the same, not the same, but like a good colour payoff with the pound ones, you may as well get loads of ranges of colour. And it's to be honest, if you go on a night out for a pound, you won't be bothered if you lost it. Whereas I remember the time that I thought I lost the matte lipstick and I was screwing. Like I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so whereas if I'd lost this one, I probably would have been like, it's a pound, I could just repurchase it. So that is what we're going to do today. So I have seven lipsticks out in front of me and I'm going to try and do them in order of like the nudes up to the darkest colour. So let's just get straight into this video and I'll tell you what I think. So these, they smell just like the matte lipsticks, that is the colour there and this one is in Fawn Fantasy and the good thing about this is you get like an extra bit of product at the bottom but I never seem to use these once this lipstick has gone I'll just chuck it but really I should really be using these and saving them because you get more product but I'm not very good I don't really like brush on lipstick do you know what I mean so let's try this first one for you that is what it looks like on the lips and oh I have makeup on my arm from the tutorial that I did just um, but let me just swatch this up here so that is it swatched on my wrist, arm, hand get it right Jada, get it together now um, and this is it on my lips so for a pound you get quite a good colour payoff um, but they are just quite drying so if you don't like that drying it's like you can feel it getting more drying it's not sticky as it's a matte but it is quite drying on your lips so if you don't really like dryingness on your lips then you probably won't like these unless you put like a real good um what's it called like you can get like a lip conditioner thing can't you or some sort of lipstick thing that you can put on before to like, hydrate your lips let me just rub this one off <laughs> so the next one that i'm gonna try is more of like a mauvey pinky colour and it's called Mystic Marcella and it just looks like that so it's quite like a muted red but let's see if it you know goes that colour on my mouth <laughs> oh as you can see I do have to quite they am quite hard but then they am a matte lipstick at the same time but it is a bit difficult to get them on your lips <laughs> is the colour there I'll just swatch it next to that one so as you can see it's quite like a ready I'm looking in the mirror because I'm weird but that is the colour there to be honest for a pound I think the colour payoff is quite good but it just depends what sort of lipstick you like and how you like the feel of your lipstick on your mouth I'm trying to get these off because they've just kicked them off. <laughs> because I haven't got no other. It does quite stay on your lips, to be honest, but. It's because I haven't got no um, makeup remover wipes. Terrible, I know. <laughs> so then, right, I thought, 
because someone like got coins that I'd buy a picture cube, so that's called like a picture colour. I'm not very good with oranges, oranges don't really suit me, but I thought I'd give it a go. I like, really like the colour because there's one from Matt that I wanted to buy, but I just haven't brought it. And to be honest, I don't even know if oranges suit me, so this is a good way to see if like colours suit you. Like if you don't, if you've never wore a red colour, but you don't want to go and spend £15.50 on a matte lipstick or £20 pound on a bloody wireless, YSL one, then you can try one out for a pound. Like they have got such a range of colours, and they've even got there's some in black packaging, which is like a cream sheen sort of one. So let's try this one on. Hmm. This one's a little bit patchy and it's sticking to all my dry areas on my lips. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera. Can you see? It's a little bit, let me just it's a little bit patchy I think um, and it's literally sticking to all my dry areas so maybe if I wanted to wear this one I'd probably have to do like a lip scrub uh, just to try and get some smooth lips but it's a nice colour just it's not really suiting my lips at all like the colour this is where you'll get lipstick all around your house Right, moving on to colour number four. This is called Pouty Pink, and it is like a literal Barbie pink. Um, I don't know how I feel about this colour. Let's see if it applies like this on my lips, because sometimes they're a bit more not as bright. Because at the minute it reminds me of like Candy Yum Yum from Matt, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. My camera a bit slanted, like to the side. <laughs> oh yes, hold on, hold that thought. I didn't swatch this peach or cream one on my hand, did I? So that one was there, was the peach cream that I did before. This is pouty pink, which on the hand it looks quite pink, but then on my lips I don't think it looks as bright. But then again, I have got quite pigmentated lips, so might be that. But for a pound, if you wanted a pink colour, or if you're doing like a 80s night out or something, I wouldn't wear this personally because it just doesn't suit my skin tone at all. And like, it just doesn't suit my face. I don't know what it is. Let's get this one off. I feel like I might like this one, this one, this one, but I'm just trying to get through them because I know sometimes when you're there and you're taking ages, it's a bit like, come on, let me see the colour now. Um, so, five, maths isn't my best specialty. This one is called Lilac Belts because I thought if I got like a nude, like a muted red, an orange, a pink, a purpley lilac colour, and then like a red and a dark, then it's like a range of colours for everybody. My lips are getting quite. I feel like I've got Carmex on them. But this is the colour. Like, look at that colour. They're sort of damaged. I think what happened was because I tried this video like five times, I like kept applying them, and I think it was really hot that day. So I think I sort of melted them a little bit. But that's why it looks a bit crap there. But oh well, for a pound, it don't really matter. Let me just apply that one, I'll show you on your hand first. Like, that is like a proper like purple colour, which I like purple. So it, to be honest, it looks a bit scary, but then I think it's going to be wearable. I hope. <laughs> Let me apply this to my lips. See, this one's a lot more creamy when being applied compared to some of them. I 
I like that. Probably not with this makeup look, but I do like that colour. I think it's a wearable purple, and I think a lot of people are a bit scared, but if you just try it, like I think buying cheap lipsticks are a good way to try new colours instead of going out and spending like a bomb.com and amount of money on lipsticks that you're never going to wear. At least these, if you ever needed a purple look, you've got one. And it's not, it's like inexpensive. But I actually do like that colour. Being a bit silly, I think I'm a little bit tired now. <laughs> and my lips are really sore. Gonna have to put like, um, like a lip balm on my lips I think instead of a lipstick because these lipsticks are quite drying and I don't think it's helped that I'm rubbing my lips with a paper towel but you know that's all I've got so I'm gonna have to do <laughs> um right this colour I thought oh did I just shake the camera this colour I thought I'd get because a lot of people got an itch you now <laughs> a lot of people don't like wearing red colours or some people are like oh like too scared to branch out because you don't want to buy a lipstick and it not suit you as I said previously so this colour I thought hmm well if you want to try a red colour like if this is a good payout on my lips I think it's worth venturing out for a pound to try a red colour to see if you like it I have a few red colours I, I wonder if it's like any of the ones I've got hold on Where's all my lip, lip snob? I have like a bag full of lipsticks. I have a bit of an obsession. I would buy loads and loads and loads of lipsticks, but that's just me. I think actually, while we're on the idea of lipsticks, I want to tell you something. I bought Max Snob, which looks like this. And then I brought Ideal Lilac, which is a matte from Avon. And in comparison, they are quite similar, but I think on the lips anyway. They're a little bit of a different colour, in a slight, slightly, slight different colour, but for the matte lips it was 15.50, and this Avon matte lips it was £5. <laughs> Can't really mind there. But I do have a couple of reds that I want to see if any of these do. I've got Max Ruby Woo, which is a matte. Let me put my lid there. And then I also bought So Good For You, which I got in a sale, which is also a red. I like red lipsticks. So let's just see if Scarlet Siren is like... See, the, these two especially look similar. So before you like branch out on spending money on an expensive lipstick, I think it's always worth trying a cheaper brand. Well, I do anyway. But let's try this one because I'm talking too much now. Sorry about the bad application. I actually like red lipstick, <laughs> but not with this makeup look at all. But yeah, let me do a. That is. What's this called again? I hate the fact that the names aren't on the bottom, it's on the lid. Scarlet Siren. And that is. I like red colours, but it just does not go with this look right now. <laughs> so that's. Scarlet Siren. I feel like I'm talking really fast, like I just need to slow down, but I just want to get this video done so I can edit it because it's been such a long time coming. It really has. So, right, the last, very last, last, last one I bought called wild 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 berry small berry no wild berry um and obviously mm, nearly dropped the lid 
Uh, now, if you saw that, would you pick it up? The tree filet. Like, would you? If that lipstick was in store, would you pick that up? Because I probably not. I probably wouldn't have gravitated towards it to be honest, because it looks too dark. But then, like when you put it on, it's like a berry colour. That I'll say. Uh, I like it. It's more like a ready berry colour. It sort of reminds me of. Hold on. I can't remember the name. Is it this one? No. Of licorice. Um. By Nick, the Buttergrass. Let me put this colour next to it. The next one is a little bit darker, but it's still pretty similar. Do you know what I mean? Like if I put um. It's just a little bit darker, the MUA one. But so that is all the lipsticks I bought. My genuine thought at the minute is, to be honest, the more you wear them, the less you feel them. <laughs> um, and I think for the pound, the colour payoff is worth it, really. Um, I do want to try some of the cream sheens just because, oh, you know. Because um, mattes can sort of last and be a bit more easy, to, not easy to put on, but like the colour payoff. So I want to try some of the cream sheets. So if you want me to buy one of the non-matte ones, like the cream ones, or there is some um, Revlon lip kits at Silver Drug, which I wanted to try, maybe buy a couple and try and see my thoughts on those. So if you'd like to see that video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe. The subscribe button will be down in the description bar. Try and remember my words. Um, and thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.